Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Des Reacts, and today I have an Elvis Presley reaction video for you. And before I took my break, I was going through this. I wanted you to try this um, competition. For, I've messed up my words. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought completely. Yet. Okay, so before I took my little break on the channel, I wanted you to try and uh, like send me some Elvis. Really, seriously, what's going? Let's start again. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts. And today I have an Elvis Presley reaction video for you. And the competition still runs. So I challenged you all to find me Elvis songs that I would not have heard yet. As you know, my dad is a massive Elvis Presley fan. I've grown up listening to Elvis, even though I don't choose to ever really listen to Elvis. I've grown up listening to him. And then I challenged you to find me songs that I've not heard before. I think there's only been one so far, and it was one of his home recordings that I've not heard yet. And then I, I played it to my dad and he had no idea either. So that's the only one. But until, up until then, based on titles, like this one, you don't have to say you love me. I've, I'm like, I'm on the, I'm on the fence here, 50-50. I'm, I've got a song in my head, but I don't know if this is the, look, it probably is because the exact words in it is like, you don't have to say you love me. It's that song. I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure it is, but I've done this before and I was wrong. So I could be wrong. It could just be the line in a song, but we're just going to get into this and find out. Let's see if I know this one or not. I hope you enjoy it. Leave your requests in the comments down below and I will add them to the list. A lot of the Elvis Presley ones do get blocked. I will say that. So that's why you don't see that many on here because some of them do get blocked. And when I appeal them, they still end up staying blocked, so you don't really see that much Elvis. So I'm hoping that these ones do come on. Let's get into this. When I said I needed you, you said you would always stay. It wasn't me who changed, but you, and now you go away. But don't you know that now you go Actually, do you know what, saying that the song that I was thinking of is the same song, it's this song. But I will say I've had comments on this channel about like me like not liking Elvis and things like that. It's not the case. It's just been a running joke that I can appreciate everything that Elvis has done music wise. And yeah, I got forced to listen to him growing up. But as I've got older, I kind of enjoy listening to some of his songs. If I had to do a top 10 list of Elvis songs, this would probably be in the top 10 list. I really do like this song. Oh, you go away. But don't you know that now and I'm left here on my own Now I have to follow you And beg you to come home You don't have to say you love me Just be close at hand You don't have to stay forever I will understand Believe me But believe me, I'll never tie you down. Left alone, just a memory. Life seems dead. And I wasn't. I'm not going to mock his dancing. I won't mock it because I've got two left feet, so I can't mock anyone dancing. But I've ne I never really understood like his movements of dancing and things like that. Elvis has got this thing that like if people imitate him, you can tell that they're imitating Elvis just on, based on the way that they move and the way they dance. But I never, never understood it. But I, like I said, I'm not. It's not mocking it because <laughs> I am. Not, I'm not a dancer in the slightest. Nowhere near. If you ever watch me dance, like you'd laugh your head off. But <laughs> I never really understood like Elvis is dancing that I don't know maybe it's just me left alone just a memory life seems dead and so unreal all that's left is loneliness there's nothing left to feel you don't have to say you love me just be close at hand You don't have to stay forever I will understand Believe me Oh, believe me oh, You don't have to say you love me 
just be closing in. You don't have to stay forever. I will understand. So believe me. Like I said, it is the case that, like, with this song, that I was kind of on the, I was 50 50 as to whether I knew this song or not. I do, I know this song very well, and it, it would probably, it would make top 10 that I prefer, obviously. With me, I'm one of these that, like, not just the Elvis, but like with a lot of the artists that I listen to, that it is the case that. I prefer listening to the studio versions over live. I know a lot of people prefer... I know, I know people that prefer live performances over studio performances, but I'm not one of them. I've always preferred the studio performances over the live performances. Not to say that these live performances are not good. I find that live performances from... Like, this was 1970, so anything like 60s, 70s, 80s, I find that live performances were better back then because it's it's not so much in it in a sense that like now nah, it's I, I don't know i don't know how to explain it like live performances now nah, just don't seem that appealing in the sense that it's more about the what you can do visually as opposed to the music in a sense that like who like i went to see um eminem live back in the 90s and it was at the old docklands arena before it closed down and with that, it was just the case that like they came on stage and they rapped and they pissed off basically. There was there was nothing there that like. And then I went to see Neo live, and Neo was really good live because it was the same. It wasn't like a big spectacle or anything like that. It was just basically him coming on the stage singing "Gone." But then other people that I've been to see live that they needed to make it a focal point to make it more like pyrotechnics and things like that i'm losing my train of thought but yeah that's the thing like live performances back then were a lot better than they are now in my opinion but i still prefer studio versions over live versions even back to this though like if someone said to me like do you want to listen to this song sung live or do i want to listen to it sung as a studio version nine times out of ten i would choose the studio version and especially this song, I really do like this song and I really do like the studio version as well. But yeah, I'm rambling on and I've got a tendency to do that. Guys, listen, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. The challenge is still there. If there is any Elvis songs that you think that you can put to me that is not commonly known that you think I may not know, I want to try it. I, I do. I want to. And it's not something that I'm not bragging like I know that, I know that, I know that. I, I genuinely do want to get caught out because there's there's got to be a few out there that I don't know. There's probably going to be a lot more than a few that I don't know. I just haven't come across them yet. But until then, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I do upload daily and you can expect to see more Elvis Presley on the channel. But until then, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Have a nice time. Stay safe. Be kind. See you in the next one.